but I like that a little bit parallax. It's moving a little bit, flashing a little bit. I like that. Hello there. So we're, today we're going to start a new series, and it's going to be a, a game to play with your friends. I'm trying to get something to show off and uh, just play around. So we're going to start off. Uh, the original concept is it's more like a space battle type game between you, you and your friends trying to uh, knock each other off. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, create a room. Uh, we're going to call this the battle room. And we're going to make it a um, little bit smaller resolution. We're gonna go ahead and have it a higher, higher speed. S so this will be six, essentially six. It'll go through sixty cycles every time. So you can update your objects sixty times every second. Um, change our view. Or we'll use views again because that allows us to do some things. Alright, so we were in 1280 by 720. So we're going to do the same here. And then we're going to change our port. 1280, 720. And we are going to go ahead and change our background to a really dark blue. going to create a background for the stars. And we're not going to use the typical background. We're actually going to control it through a controller versus having the background. Um, I think there's a lot more flexibility in that than just having, you know, the background would be good if you're, you're doing more like a platformer or side to side, but for what we're going to do. I think this will be better long term. So I'm going to make it like 128 by 128 and we're going to just get different uh, placement of you either have a lot or a few stars, whichever you prefer. Just make sure you're don't forget to have some that are close to the edge otherwise you'll wind up with holes. And what I'm going to do for ours is we're going to go ahead and add a secondary layer. We're going to keep the white and we're going to switch down to a lower opacity. I'm going to zoom in here and Make some of these dimmer over time. And then make some of these a little bit stand out a little bit more. Yeah, when you have this opacity set to something other than a the two fifty five, when you do it in a race, um, use the erase function, it will only partially erase it. So the higher the rate, the number, the bigger the erase. The lower the erase, the less it erases. There we go. So as you can see, some of them are actually sparkling, but what we'll do is bring that down to, so 30 is probably like a 10, still pretty fast. Yeah, so we don't really care about the center because we're not going 
don't care about collision because we're not going to collide with it. It'll just be in the background. We don't care about centering it uh, because we're going to tile it. So let's create a background controller. And this way we can, in one object, we can create control anything that's in the background. So we're going to initi initiate our controllers. Let's see. So when we create this object, we're going to go ahead and create our uh, background. And we're going to just randomly place it on the screen. And I'll show you why we do that in a second here. And we'll just do it for the size of our sprite. Because we're actually going to have two backgrounds just to have a little bit of a parallax effect in the background. So we're something farther away, move slower, and then we're going to control it here, background. Uh, and for right now, since we only have the one, we're going to keep it the same, but So if we decide to create a secondary background that looks just a little different, uh, we can. And we're going to make this just move very slowly. Just to see how slow we can get it. And maybe like triple the speed. image. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're creating two of the same object, which is going to be this background image. We're going to have a move rate. So let's go ahead and create a move rate for our background image. And then we're going to create a step event to actually do the move. And we're just going to move it and we can do complex things as far as later but right now this is all we're going to do. I guess we can do this. X. Yeah, let's do that. 
make it a little more interesting. Make a move right rate Y, move rate X. And then in our step event, we're going to move it Okay, and then in our hour, in order to do, make this a background, like a truly background, like your background image over here, what we're going to do is tile it. So we're going to override our draw and do, that's it, draw sprite. And down at the bottom there's a tile, so we're going to just make it simple. Index, image index. So let's go ahead and try that. We need to, now that we have a con an object, a background controller, we are going to add a background controller to the room. Let's make sure this runs. Yeah, as you can see, they everything is moving. Kind of gives you a little weird effect there, though. All right. So what are we doing wrong? Two, three. Oh, here we go. And let's do this. We are going to. So for every, when we have our background controller, it's going to create two backgrounds using the same object, so we only have to create one object, and it's a background. And it's going to be our background because we're tiling the image when it draws. So what we're going to do is pick an image, and for now we're going to have both of them the same. Then we're going to have two different speeds as far as them flashing. So this image speed is uh, rate of flash. Uh, or image change. Randomize the angle. And then set speed. Now we want them, these really to be the same direction, so that's why we're going to always have, it'd be better to have it that way. So this way you can see it kind of go in the background, they're flashing. I think they're go going a little faster than I want. Try that. Oh, because see, this is one. All right, that's right. So this is doing it wrong. So I want it one frame per second, 
and two frames per second. Yeah, there we go. It's a little bit slower. Now, if there's too many stars, you can always adjust your background, do different things to make it. Uh, but I like that a little bit parallax. It's moving a little bit, flashing a little bit. I like that. So, uh, until next time, uh, next time we'll get into ships and movement and other things. So, until next time, thanks. Good luck code. So those are two different ways to pick and add add some variety to.